stop till I wear the crown. Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about two important things in SQL, care and where care. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you find this helpful. Let's dive in. So what are care and where care? When we create a table using SQL queries, we need to specify the data types of each of the columns that the table has. Say for example, in this query, we are creating a table called care test with three columns. The first column defined as a care column, this one. The second and third are defined as var care. You may have already understood that care and var care are two data types for character strings, but they work a bit differently. Let's see what the differences are. First, let's talk about care. So care is for fixed length words. If you imagine a box that can only fit 10 letters, even if you put in a short word, it's going to add empty spaces to fill up those 10 letters. So it's a bit rigid. So that is exactly how CAD data type works. In case of CAD data type, it always allocates a specific amount of storage for each value. And if the actual value stored in the column is shorter than the desired length, then it is padded with the spaces to fill up the remaining space. We'll also see an example right after this to make all these points very clear. Due to this fixed length nature, the care columns may consume more storage than necessary since it is adding spaces which were not necessary just to maintain the fixed length. Now let's look at an example. In this example, we have created a table called employee with the columns called first name and last name and both these columns are cat data type with a length of 20 when we insert the name john into the first name column it is padded with spaces to fill the entire 20 characters so that is how cat data type works since the first name column is defined as a cat 20 anything any data that gets passed into this column needs to have a fixed length of 20. We have passed John, which has a length of 4. It's not 20. To maintain 20 length, it is filling that up with spaces. That's what you're seeing here. Now, varchar is different. It is like a stretchy box. It only uses the space it needs. We can call it, it's a variable length data type. So if you put in a five letter word, it uses just five spaces, not 10. So it is variable length, meaning that it only allocates storage based on the actual length of the value being stored. And there's no padding since we don't need to maintain a fixed length. And obviously this is more storage efficient as compared to care because it is not adding unnecessary space, unnecessary characters just to maintain a fixed length it is obviously more storage efficient than care when dealing with shorter strings because it allocates only the required space now let's look at an example for var care in this example we created a table called product with two columns product name and description both the var care data type when we have inserted this product name and its description only the actual length of the strings are stored without any padding. So exactly the way you are seeing it here, the way we are passing it, exactly the same way without adding any extra spaces, it will be added to the column. That is how varchar works. Now let's uh, recap. So char has a fixed length while varchar has variable length. Char pads the stored values with spaces to reach the defined length, whereas varchar does not. Varchar is more storage efficient for shorter strings compared to CAR. So to sum it up, it is all about choosing the right box for your words. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe for more easy to understand tech stuff. See you next time. Happy coding.